Season 4 is here and with it comes new adventures for you and your crew to journey into. Alongside all of the new changes comes the addition of the Coral Curse. In this video I'm going to show you exactly how to get it and how to do it in the quickest way possible. Before we get into the video, only 4.6 of the people who watch my content are subscribed. So if you want to help me out in reaching my goal of 10,000 subscribers, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, I'm currently live over on Twitch, so make sure to stop by the stream and say hi. Finally, also make sure to join the Mystic Penthouse Discord server to chat with other members of this amazing community as to keep up to date with my current schedules both on Twitch and YouTube. There are currently six shrines which you will need to visit and uncover the secrets of in order to unlock one final journey for you and your crew to partake in. So without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, you're going to want to start hopping servers. You're going to want to spawn at Golden Sands Outpost. From here, you're going to want to travel south to the Shrine of Ocean's Fortune, then head southeast to the Shrine of Tribute. After that, head east by southeast to the Shrine of Ancient Tears. Then head north to the Shrine of Flooded Embrace. Once completed here, head northeast to the Shrine of Hungering. Finally, head east to the Shrine of the Coral Tomb. Each shrine has its own unique journals together and in order to get them you will need to complete all of the shrines which basically means you have to solve different puzzles for each tomb. As this is a pretty comprehensive guide, you will be able to find the timestamps for all specific locations and commendations in the description below. Starting off with the Shrine of Ocean's Fortune. You can find the first journal as soon as you enter the shrine on the bottom floor. As soon as you enter, you will see a large stone pillar covered in coral in the middle of the chamber. Walk to the right of it, hugging the right side of the wall until you come across a pile of planks. You will find the journal lying on the pile of planks. Read it to uncover your first secret. The second journal in the shrine is shortly after the first one on the bottom floor. Climb up the ladder and use the pulley to make a path to the first anchor. From the anchor, go left into the small room and walk to the southwest side of the room to the coral lever that opens up the jail cell door. You will find the journal on the ground to your left as you walk to the coral lever from the anchor. Read it to uncover your second secret. You can find the third journal right after fighting the first group of coral skeletons on the bottom floor. After you lower the coral covered mast and cross it, you will fight several coral skeletons. On the path from this area to the second anchor is the third journal. You will find it on the ground to your left before you step on the wooden plank bridge to the second anchor. Read it to uncover the third secret. You can find the fourth journal on the middle floor of the shrine. You want to kill all of the ocean crawlers and coral skeletons that spawn on this floor before hunting down the journal. After you have cleared these enemies, head to the north by northwest side of the room. You will find the journal on the ground floor, laying on a piece of shipwreck surrounded by plants. For reference, the journal on the left of the coral plinth along the shipwreck wall, read it to uncover the fourth secret. You can find the last journal on the top floor of the shrine. To reach it, you will need to make your way up the top of the rotating mast. Once you've climbed to the top, you will come across a sunken merfolk statue. Just to the right of the statue, on a piece of shipwreck to the south, will be the journal. Read it to uncover the last secret of the shrine. Moving on to the Shrine of Tribute. Shortly after entering the shrine, you will swim down into a room that forks left and right. In this room is a siren statue puzzle mural. Facing the mural, turn around and you will find a journal sitting on some rubble next to some dark red coral. Read it and you will have uncovered your first secret. From the mural, swim south down a tunnel leading away from the mural. As you swim through several rooms, you will come across a room covered in bright blue coral, as well as the first undersea vent down this path. At the base of the undersea vent is the following journal. Read it and you will have uncovered your second secret. From the second journal, keep swimming forward away from the mural. You will eventually reach a large siren statue holding a conch. Swim past this down the tunnel that leads east. You will swim into a room with dark red coral and a little stone compartment on the wall to your right. 
On the lip of the stone compartment is a journal. Read it and you will have uncovered the third secret of the shrine. You can find the next journal after solving the siren statue puzzle and raising the water level. After raising the water level you will have access to the path on the east side of the room with a large throne statue. At the top of the path you will find yourself at the top of the chamber. Walk south then jump across the large throne statue to the other side. Jump across the statue to find a journal sitting on a coral platform. Read it and you will have uncovered the fourth secret of the shrine. You can find the last journal after solving the floor plate puzzle at the top of the shrine. Once you solve the puzzle, the giant throne statue will now move, revealing a secret area. Swim to the back of the area to find a large stone altar with the journal resting on it. Read the journal and uncover the final mystery of the shrine. Next up is the Shrine of Ancient Tears. You can read the first journal immediately after entering the shrine once you drop into the main chamber of the shrine. Walk over to the stone altar near the well in the middle of the chamber. Laying next to the altar is the journal. Read it and you will uncover the first secret of the shrine. You can find the second journal at the bottom of the well resting on a stone altar. You can either drain the well or swim down to reach the well and reach the journal. Once you're at the bottom of the well, head east to find an area with the stone altar. Resting on the altar will be the journal. Read it to uncover another secret of the shrine. You can read the third journal after solving the floor plate puzzle. Once you solve the puzzle, a room on the second floor of the chamber to the east will open. Inside the room you'll find treasure and the journal sitting on a barrel on the south side of the room. Read the journal to uncover another secret. You can find the fourth journal after lighting all eight torches in the main chamber and the room with the third journal in. Once you light all eight torches, a door to the west will open in the main chamber. Head inside and keep walking west until you walk into a circular room with four rock paintings and columns in it. Laying next to the column with a crab above will be the journal. Read it to uncover the fourth secret. The last journal will be in the turtle puzzle chamber. You will have to complete the butterfly puzzle chamber before gaining access to the turtle puzzle chamber. Once in the turtle puzzle area, you can find the journal next to one of the turtle levers tucked away in the back southwest corner. Read it to uncover the fifth and final secret of the shrine. Moving on to the shrine of flooded embrace. You can find the first journal in this shrine as soon as you swim through the captain's cabin at the top. From the door you open in the cabin, keep swimming straight forward, hugging the deck of the shipwreck, swim up into the hull after you pass the main mast. Inside the hull you'll find an air pocket where you'll be safe to walk around. The journal is here resting near some yellow coral. Read the journal to uncover your first secret. From the first journal, exit the shipwreck hull facing south. You will see another shipwreck just in front of you. Swim underneath the shelf that the shipwreck is lying on and look up. You'll find a closed brig door leading into that shipwreck. Open it up and head inside. You'll find the journal in the shipwreck, read it to uncover the second secret. From the second journal, exit the brig and swim straight down. Just below you, about halfway down the shrine, on the south side of the chamber, is a pink coral orb and a siren window. Damage the coral orb and swim past the siren window to a giant air pocket on the other side. You'll find supplies, a sunken merfolk statue, lots of treasure, and a journal laying on some wooden debris across from the statue. Read the journal to uncover the next secret. Exit the room with a third journal and swim straight down on the southwest side of the chamber directly below the room you were just in will be another piece of shipwreck covered in plants and coral with undersea vent inside it. Laying on top of the shipwreck is the following journal. Read it to uncover the fourth secret. The fifth journal is at the bottom of the shrine and you'll find it on the north side by the shipwreck at the bottom of the shrine. It's sitting next to some bright coral plants. For reference, it is on the other side of the shipwreck opposite the coral plinth that can hold the breath of the sea. Now we move on to the Shrine of Hungering Secret. You can find the first journal in the large tunnel that leads to the centre of the shrine. From the cave opening leading to the shrine, swim through the tunnel until you come across a skeleton laying on the seafloor at the centre of several tall green plants. 
You'll find the skeleton right after the undersea vent you pass in the tunnel. The journal will be in the hands of a skeleton laying on the ground. Read it and you will have uncovered your first secret. You can find the second journal after solving the first siren statue puzzle. After solving the puzzle, use the geyser to reach the second siren statue puzzle. The journal is next to an ammo chest inside a wrecked robo, just to the right of the gem siren statue on the north side of the chamber. Read it to uncover the second secret of the shrine. You can find the third journal after solving the second siren statue puzzle. After climbing up a spine and mast beam, look for a pile of wooden planks. These planks are just after the mast beam and before you hop over some stone bone sticking out of the wall to a large megalodon jawbone. Laying amongst the planks is the journal, read it and this will uncover the third secret. You can find the fourth journal just before you enter through a large megalodon jawbone before shooting the pink coral orb to continue through. Hop across the platforms made of bones to the north. Hidden in the grass at the base of the siren statue, across the way will be the journal. Read it to uncover the fourth secret. You will find the fifth and final journal shortly after swimming through the large megalodon jewel bone. After passing through the first siren window, you will find another that leads into the last room of the shrine. At the base of the second siren window on the other side will be the journal. Shoot the pink coral orb and swim through the siren window to the journal. Read it to uncover the last secret. Finally, the Shrine of Coral Tomb. After sliding down the long water slide, you will immediately be able to find the first journal after you have landed in the pool of water in the chamber. Swim to the bottom of the chamber, you will find the journal resting on the stone blocks next to an ammo chest. Read it and you will have uncovered your first secret. You can read the second journal after solving the first coral lever puzzle. Once you solve the blue coral lever puzzle, a new room Above the water will open just to the right of the blue chain lever. Head into the room to find the yellow gem lever. Laying next to it will be the second journal, read it to uncover the second secret. You can read the third journal after solving the second coral lever puzzle. Once you have solved the yellow coral lever puzzle, a new room below the water will open to the northeast. Inside this area is the red coral lever. You will find the journal near the entrance of the newly opened area lying on the ground. Read it to uncover the third secret. You can read the fourth journal after solving all three coral lever puzzles. Once you have raised the water level, head to the small room to the west above the waterline. You can find the journal laying on the ground in front of a wall of skulls. Read it to uncover the fourth secret. You can find the fifth journal on the highest platform in the chamber after solving all three coral puzzles, raising the water level. After you raise the water level, climb the wooden path to the northeast of the chamber. The journal sits on the ground next to a resource barrel, just to the right of the sunken merfolk statue. Read this to uncover the final secret of the shrine. Now you have collected all of the secrets, you can travel back to an outpost. Speak to Lorena to claim a legend of the Sunken Kingdom voyage. You will receive a wayfinder to complete your voyage. Firstly, it will take you to an island to dig up a coral chest with three keys needed to unlock it. After this, the wayfinder will take you to three different shrines around the map to get the keys. The compass will lead you to a shrine and inside it will take you to a door which requires a golden token. By the door you'll see piles of gold on the floor for each shrine. Follow the gold to pick up the token and head back to unlock the door. You can then take the key and repeat this until you have collected all three. Once you've opened the chest you will see a triangular tablet. You can read the inscription on the tablet which will take you to a shrine and from there you can unlock a door. In this room there will be a skeleton lying on the floor with a final book in front of it. Read the book and you should now have gained yourself the Coral Curse. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like and check out the other videos on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.